Well, for the golfers, it's the ball that goes into the woods that causes outrage on the course. For kids playing in the yard, it's the ball that goes across the road or into the neighbor's yard. For Frisbee golfers, it's missing the mark and seeing the disc sailing into the trees. But 7 News reporter Annalise Murphy found out your loss is a furry friend's gain. She's live in the studio now. Annalise. Catherine, the weather has been gorgeous the past few days and summer is right around the corner, which means more people will be outside at parks, maybe even playing some frisbee golf. But if they lose their discs, there's a special four legged friend to find them. Daisy is a four year old classic Labrador retriever who is proud to show off her frisbee collection at Grandview Park. Every day, rain or shine, Kelly Mason and Daisy walk about five miles through Grandview Park. On these daily walks, Daisy sometimes goes on an adventure of her own and returns with a souvenir. Daisy, my yellow Labrador retriever, has a nose for finding discs. We will be walking through the park and uh, her nose will go up. She can smell them and uh, she just goes off. Uh, she could go off 30 weeds through the Malta Florosa, the high weeds, and here she comes with a disc. Daisy started retrieving frisbee golf discs about three years ago, and since she's found about 140 of them and has no plans of stopping anytime soon. Mason says when her pup first started doing this, she was both shocked and proud. Every time I come up here, you know, I, I hope she finds them. I mean, sometimes she'll find uh, three or four a day, and then she'll go three or four weeks without finding any. So it's uh, whenever her nose is busy, she finds them. <laughs> But what is there to do with all of Daisy's trophies? Grandview Park and Mason teamed up to create a program called Daisy's Discs. Normally when park staff finds them, we have our uh, park guests find them, all of them are turned into the, into the barn area. Some discs that have names on them, um, we, the park calls them and uh, people can, are able to come and pick them up. During that time, they can make a donation to um, Daisy's Discs and that, that money will fund uh, the Marshall County Animal Rescue League. If discs are found and there's no name on them and we've had them for a, a long period of time um, and nobody has claimed them, uh, the park will sell them for a very low amount and that money will go back into the disc golf course. Helping others makes Daisy truly a good girl. She loves all people and she loves dogs and uh, she lives with three cats. She loves cats. She, she's a lover. Grammy Park's just lucky to have a dog like Daisy walking on the trails and walking around the, the courses to, you know, to make sure that property gets back to their owners and that's a cool thing um, you know we have we have a lot of people that make sure that happens and it's nice to have a, an animal that's making sure that happens. Daisy also brought her best friend Zoe with her they met each other at just 12 weeks old at their obedience training class and have been inseparable since. So if you decide to go frisbee disc golfing at Grandview Park don't fret about losing a disc Daisy will more than likely retrieve it for you. Reporting live in the 7 News studio, I'm Annalise Murphy, working for you.